Skull identification speedrun, ready, set, go. Pick up the tag, species name is covered up. I think it's a fish. To check, we count the number of bones in the skull. One in the top, one in the bottom. Lots of teeth, but not enough to be a fish. Instead, let's look at that lower jaw. See how it's made out of one strong bone? That means that this is a mammal. Upper jaw time, we have a giant canine tooth right there and some super sharp cheek teeth. This thing eats meat. Pretty sure it's in the order carnivora. If we push it back, you see this post-orbital process, this tiny nub right here. It's in the back half of the skull, which means it can't be a raccoon, otter, or a badger. In fact, this snout is so big, I think this is a dog-like mammal, probably a coyote, fox, wolf, or a dog. Let's flip it forward and take a close look at how long that canine tooth is growing. If you look really closely, you can see it grows past these tiny holes in the bottom of the jaw. That means it's not a dog or a wolf, which leaves coyote or fox. And because this is so small and the post-orbital ridges form a V on the top of the head, I think this is Vulpus vulpus, aka a red fox. Let's freaking go!